All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode nine of Tezalovich, in which this is a brand new era for Bosnia. <coughs> Even though it, it began a couple of months ago in the middle of the war, in which we defeated the Byzantines in a recent uh, war for the county of Zadar, which was previously known as it by the Greek name of Diodora. But now Zadar is ours. And Bosnia is now ruled by a first queen of Bosnia, Queen Liliana, who is known to be a shield maiden. One of the, uh, in fact, the very first shield maiden of Bosnia as part of the uh, Slavic Warrior Lodge, the Champions of Perun. So, yeah, a shield maiden queen, something that doesn't uh, seem uh, seen that often. Yeah, we'll give it. We'll talk about Vladislav in a moment. Um, Liliana here. She's been shield maiden since June 25th of 787. Yes, I actually had my notes with me uh, for certain things. Such as that little fact right there for those who don't know. Or have not seen the previous episodes, which I recommend you should. If you're wondering how do we get from there to here. Now it's 817 and it's been <laughs> 30 years as a shield maiden apparently for Liliana, is that correct? Uh, yeah, 30 years, nearly 30 years as a shield maiden. In which uh, she basically lived her whole life as a soldier. <laughs> a soldieress. Uh, only started to have children at a very late age of the 30s. Very late, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> Need a drink. Anyways, uh, Dragon, one more time. Yeah, she's been a soldier for most of her life. It's in her late 30s she started to have children. Although one died sickly, and the other still lives, is Branimir. Which he's currently betrothed to, um, Vasiliki, um, Nedelkovich. Which, uh, she's from Mathone. She's of that dynasty, which is known to be of a Greek culture. Which is the reason why she's named that, and has a Serbian last name. Which, which uh, belongs to Chief Dobroslav of Mythone, who is also a uh, Greek down there, culturally, but Serbian descent. And that's when I started referring to them by the term that I use for this series is Greco-Serbian. <laughs> I was like, yes, they converted to Greek culture or Hellenized, as the other terms concern, but they still have Serbian features and dynasty names, portrait-wise. And most importantly, not only I have the bloodline of the champions of Perun, the, which were descended from Vladislav Tezlovich, who lived to the age of 72. Yeah, don't forget about him. Just I'll get, get back to him in a moment. While she has a uh, founded blood bloodline founded by um, Svetislav, the arm of Perun. Now for Vladislav, who is our father. He died of a natural death on September 15th, 8th, um, 16th. Man, he really made Bosnia what it is today. In this series for now. And he's killed a whole lot of characters. Most were sacrifices, some was a battle. He killed this one king, a couple of dukes, shamans, mayors, chiefs, his own son... Another chief. Some people died in dungeons or sacrificed. And another king who was also the Grand Chief of Saxony and Switzerland, and a man who reformed the, the Germanic faith. He even went through uh, spectacular duels and even toppled Manuel, the giant. <laughs> and that's how he became uh, the founder of the bloodline. Killed another chief. So he basically killed two kings. He's the killer of kings, the merciless, the dragon of Bosnia, the man of many names that I've given him <coughs> as the founder of the Tezlovich dynasty. And us four are the living descendants of Vladislav, the merciless of his bloodline. But as you can see in this portrait, which by the way, new background that they've added, this game has been recently updated. That's the reason why I had to wait until the update comes, then I resume the series. Uh, now, if you look at his face, since he is horrifically scarred, 
He's got so many scars on his face that it almost looks like tribal tattoos. They all tell a story. Which how he founded a bloodline, how he killed a whole lot of people, dueled so many, fought in many battles, and now all of his stuff that he's uh, obtained over the years now falls onto uh, the shield maiden queen of Bosnia, Liliana. Which she's 47, by the way. She has scars on her face, which she's grievously scarred, but she has won a few duels, but she never killed anyone. Yet. But she does have uh, some of his stuff, such as his chainmail armor, his book, his crown, axe, the skull of the Bulgar, the tongue of a great hero, which was founded by a Mongol chancellor of ours. A good, uh, uh, go to, I remember his name. And the knife of the terrain. <laughs> the treasured trophy of the Chairman Supreme had this weapon sharp before High Chief Ladislaw's adventurous journey to the Byzantine Empire. This uh, was his prized possession, and now I inherit that. Although there are better weapons out there. What? One day, I should craft a weapon of my own, if I have the money for it. But that money is not going to be spent on newer weapons and such. But rather the uh, raiding and the expansion of territories. Which we can raid those territories soon. And plus my brother, the Grinner, Kresmir, became independent from Bosnia. Which we plan on getting that back as fast as we can. But Zadar is, uh, is a place to watch out for. And we may have to take down this castle because we're tribal. One last check if I remember something because I remember about artifacts, the swords. There's one of our commanders, him. 61 year old Bosnian, who's a holy warrior and a strong man. He also got himself a blade, a heavy mud blade, which was got it from fighting against the Bulgars, and that was in the Battle of Ras, that's over in Serbia. Just like the heavy dirt blade that Vladislav has. But whenever he passes, I think I will inherit that sword and I may have to give it to somebody. <laughs> somebody that I know of. Who I believe is, well, deserving. <laughs> Probably another one of our future warriors or shield maidens or something. <laughs> Alright, and now to start the episode right. Uh, one of the first acts that I will do is that uh, when I was checking the packs... Which obviously, the chief of whom, Zagumia, is a uh, tribal vassal of ours. And we're patrolled this soon because we're about to sign a uh, non aggression pact with of Croatia. But, uh. up there, dummy. <laughs> but there was this, uh. patrol that I was gonna approve. But now I got plans for, uh, Croatia. Which, I'm actually going to break the betrothal that Vladislav put together. And he ain't going to like it. You're better off with someone else. Because I got plans for you. <laughs> but first, um, we have to take care of my brother. I mean, I could have offered him vassalization and he would definitely be all in for it. But no, in order to make Bosnia stronger, I would uh, have to take that from you. Claim, I would get the chiefdom and a hundred prestige while he loses a hundred prestige. I do not want him vassalized. Want it all to myself. Because every ruler must prove themselves at war, even if it's against their own kind. And I would need a warrior training. I got lots of renown, so I need to up the marshal a bit and a few others. Right, I got the Pillar of the Plains, which luckily this is, oh, forest, used to be plains in the old version. Should go up to the Pannonian Plains, uh, speaking of Pannonia, there is a subjugation war against them in Bohemia, which I have no desire to be part of it, because I got my own ambitions. And I must choose a military aspect. Vladislav was a duelist last time. 
and 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 then near the end of his life he fielded about 7,000 troops which was close enough to rival the Byzantine Empire's tro troop numbers so I want to delve deeper into strategic thinking which will gain me strategist which this character loves planning campaigns and analyzing the current state of affairs it's plus defense martial and stewardship as I said, Loiana was a soldier, a shield maiden for most of her life, and I think it will stay that way. Even though she has no diplomacy or learning skill, which means we can't get any of that on a cultural advances. So that's a terrible flaw of hers, but she's the best that Bosnia has to offer with the uh, martial skill. And up the religious customs a bit for the uh, shamans out there. How many troops does he have? You know what? Let's just send a retinue. We don't need to raise it. Don't need to raise our whole army. Just to waste a bit of money on a small, quick war. Okay, they got a few more. Well, we have the cavalry. What do you got? And also, I invited this person who is an elder, but she's Polish and a shield maiden. May not have the martial skill, but I can make her a uh, spy master. You know, just to be on friendlier terms because we're both of a Slavic faith. And we need to study the technology because, again, can't do cultural advances, so we think that we're culturally backward in a way. The stack of books in front, in front of me is intimidating. My scholars tell me uh, these are classics for anyone I'm interested in the introduction to strategic warfare, but I'm Queen Loyana. Sure, I do not need the basics. I should not be on the field surveying the troops first now. I could be done come diligent or patient. Well then. <laughs> Why not? More defense. I'll be patient. Although, uh, patient gives me more combat skill. We already have enough, Marshall, but... The, there is value in these historical records. Okay, that's my nephew. Huh. This campaign has been easy pickings. Swinging my dagger through the forest is a pleasure. And my fellow soldiers are equally jovial, surrounded to fly by the blood of our Bosnian um, enemies. And the cries about, look, enemy commander Lima is hiding. Or someone... Suddenly, shots pointing off to the distance. Lima. Oh, wow. A female commander who isn't even a shield maiden. She's a genius, scholar, mystic. A very smart woman. <laughs> I'll do her myself. <laughs> Alright, sun is beginning to set when I meet uh, Lima. Uh, my knife of the terrain ready. After she clumsily dodges one attack, um, my next one lands perfectly. <laughs> Frantically, the woman attempts to cover her injured eye, but I've rarely s seen so much blood. Tell you what, um... Look, you got this person who is dumb as hell, and I beat the world's smartest woman. Who is also Lithuanian and Slavic. <laughs> But I just kill her. I mean, she's not a court physician. I don't know why she's a commander. And she doesn't look like she appears to be a member of a uh, warrior lodge of any kind. So screw it. My first kill. Alright. Sage the place, which will take a while. Again, 
No need to raise my troops. Just save your money. Little of it, at least. Oh, and also that chiefdom of Zadar. That castle, which is, isn't is giving out much of the tax, which has problems with the corruption. Okay, hold on. My commanders are going to request my advice on some exercises they are performing outside of fortress walls. We could really use that strategic mind of yours, mistress. And he said, uh, startled, I realized that my studying has paid off, and my chest swells with pride. And I collect myself, nodding. Of course, I'll be happy to. Typically, what you want to consider in a setup like this. So now I'm a strategist. Soon I am talking and just really exciting, receiving oohs and ahs and even distribution. As I said, um, a soldier, shield maiden, queen. She was bred for war. And the uh, wars, what shall we get? We take this old territory. Then we raid these two counties of the Byzantine Empire and get enough money, then we're actually going to take the wars to our neighbors. You know, let's go again. Where are you, Chief? Army destroyed, so let's finish the occupation. Oh yeah, we have to bring it down. Pillage the holding. Which, uh... Pillaging this holding, uh... Revolt risk of the entire province will be increased significantly, but I will receive the following every six months until... Uh, holding is completely destroyed. I will gain some money and a few technology points are random. But the <laughs> revolt risk is already high enough. Need you to be more aggressive because we're fighting on offensive wars. Oh, revolt war is still ongoing, but the rebels are about to win, and so are we. Okay, we besieged the place. Send is mine. Oh yeah, what to do with the prisoners? Not much you can do, but return home. And I and I just remembered that that subjugation war up there is still ongoing, which means we can't raid yet. But I have other things in mind, which I guess I'll have to, you know, go ahead with my plan as soon as the year begins. By the way, who's tutoring Branimir? Me, right? Yes. Correct. Twelve soldiers a month. So just start in January, then we'll get a move on. Because I know who I'm going to go to war against, and this is part of me challenging myself. A man with stewardship. For a panoi nail? Sure. Proud Valkyrie. Oh, they call me Valkyrie because I'm Shield Maiden. Because it was originally German Ayak. Yeah, Shield Maiden was originally a German Ayak exclusive trait. Look, I did some thinking prior to recording about what to do with Croatia and uh, Serbia. I thought about subjugation, but uh, of course I would put my vote on Branimir, which, you know, that's me as a ruler, which is now overruled, and uh, 
Croatian-Bulgarian subjugation war. I'm, are you nuts? I was in the middle of another war. Okay, I was going to go up against Croatia, but nope. Serbia, you're first. I'm not going to subjugate you because... If I subjugate, I'm going to have more vassals and there will be more electors in the elective gavel kind. Succession law, which would most likely prevent me from making Brandomir the next king of Bosnia. So instead, I'm going to fight a tributary war. Just for uh, prestige. Yes. And speaking of prestige, so spend on it. On things like... Uh, We already upgraded all up the uh, weaponsmith. Why not all of these? Need more archers these days. Archers are underrated. For good reason. And that, that includes our nearly controlled provinces. Again, that revolt risk seems to be worrisome to me. So just suppress that for a moment and we'll get back to them. Guess we can have that up. Okay, I was thinking about pillaging that castle, but I'm gonna change my mind. Because, you know, I'm too worried about revolt risk. I mean, should a revolt break out? I mean, yeah, I can take them on, but that would also interrupt with my uh, current ambitions, whatever it may be. But for now, it's going to be Serbia that I will uh, make them pay tribute to me. And then after Serbia, it's possible I might do the same thing for down there. You know, for protection from the Byzantine Empire, because... They may want to take all those territories back that they've lost centuries ago. Oh, how many troops does... I mean, he's my brother. He'll definitely accept m my call. I mean, it's Serbia. Not only do they have a good n troop size, but so is their potential vassal. So it's going to be quite a war. Croatia was the original target, but instead I'm going for Serbia. I do not want to subjugate any of them. That would be until the reign of Brandomir. That's when I'll start subjugating. Bring her another front line. Oh, here's something I should need. Since I have lots of renown, I should summon a large commander. Okay, a promising member of the Champions of Prune, Milovan, is eager to test his mettle in battle and prove his loyalty by fighting on my side and leading my armies against the enemies of Bosnia. Hm. Who are you exactly? You're from Zadar? Pillar of the Plains? Hunter? Cr uh. Uh, welcome, fellow warrior, I guess. I'll just welcome you in. Give me another. Mogus, huh? Slightly better. Okay, now who to replace? Walk up to the wall. Don't bring Rana in because he's a holy warrior and we're against our own uh, kind. We only bring Rana in whenever the Byzantines are around. Come over here. They're going to be crossing on our borders. <laughs> right on. They may have the heights, but we have the numbers. And the uh, commanding talent. Especially me as a strategist. Twenty nine, twenty fifth for most of their guys. We'll be on the twenty fifth. All right.
Now it's the plains. This is my yard. The Battle of Zogri. My lady, oh, war is uh, struggling next to me. So we have to do something about these Serbian soldiers. They're gaining on us. What do you expect me to do? I shout back at over the turmoil of battle. Uh, <coughs> I was just looking at my traits, just to, you know, what fits me well. Clang your swords together to the rhythm of blood. Hey, battle drummer. If I get killed in battle, that's no great shame because Brandomir will become king and will be married to a very, very important girl to Bosnia's interest. I just remembered something about the plots. What are the plots? There's one that's starting to kill me, but she's my rival and a diviner of Mithone. Can't duel her because I'm at war. I don't know why, but I kind of want to turn off the model stop plot thing. I mean, yeah, it's too late to stop it now, but if I see him do something like that again, I would love to arrest him. Maybe I'll get trouble Kinslayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I wanted to kill my son Branamir. That was the problem. What if they come down to Belgrade? That would be great. No, they're gonna go through there first. They're taking a the safer route. Or even coming to Bosnia. Alright, we'll meet him there. Back to Sully again. We only got some of them, not all of them. Both of their movements are locked. They're heading to Ursara. And so are they. I just noticed something that the Byzantine Empire, with the revolts now over, the new uh, basilisk is a uh, Niketas the missionary, which he was that previously when he was elected. Then uh, Igodemos the Drunker was installed in faction demand. Now Conquer does the claim and thanks to the rebels. So now the former basilisk uh, resides over there in Spalathos, aka Split. This is the same man who introduced. Uh, Iconoclasm to Croatia before he realized what the heck was he doing and decided to go back to being uh, orthodox. And they followed suit. But now uh, they renamed Croatia with the ancient name of Liburnia, in which we look forward to getting that back in the future, but there are other pressing concerns right now. And that is this almost pretty big battle that's about to happen in Osara. Well, not that big because they're in our doorstep right now. You ain't going anywhere this time. Not in my yard of uh, Bosna. Well, war scores 100%. Who captured him? Who did it? Tai Chi Vuk the Bellower. Alright. <laughs> I guess you're not that bad of a person after all. Thank you. There. <laughs> Voice of the Repulsive is now a... Uh, is now a tributary to Bosnia. And how's Croatia doing? Taking a bit of hits from Bulgaria, which is something I've expected. Should have thought better. Taking on against the Bulgars, which was our old sworn enemy of the past century. Go on, get out. And now I look forward to do the same thing to um, Iperos down there. 
I mean, he is fighting uh, in two wars and probably has tired troops, but still got good enough money. But look, making him a tributary would be great. Because all that money he gets to make, and some of that money would go to me. But just wait a minute before, you know, the income from tributary comes, so we'll know how much. We don't make very much, because again, tribal vassal tributary. And we'll have a feudal one down there. <laughs> the Byzantines used to have a... Have a <laughs> Have a suzerain down there, but now they don't. And we would like to make that under Bosnian sphere of influence. Just to show the Byzantines who rules the Balkans around here. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Not aggression packs to be signed, sealed, and delivered. You've been fighting for two, four years and two months? Quit already. White peace, will ya? So I can raid. The... The tributes from him. 4.8. Church tax. It's a low opinion. From him. City. May not look like much. Which is the reason why we don't make a lot of money. But wondering if like them would give us more against the Greco Serbians. Okay, just wait till next year. And I'll keep that well in mind, thank you. This aging shield maiden we ain't gonna go away just yet. I just wanna live long enough to see my son reach to adulthood. And since he's the only son, that means he gets all of this land. We're not expanding Bosnia's uh, borders. Brandomir will do that. It, by expanding into Croatia, and then his Senate, possibly into Serbia. And we'll have our further interest in Carinthia. And don't forget the Dalmatian counties. Do not forget about Dalmatia. Alright, does he have any allies? He's got Croatia and Pannonia. If we go to war against them, only Croatia will will stab us from the back. <laughs> Which one would think, yeah, they ain't happy like we would have had a non-aggression pact going, but uh, I'm sorry, we're not gonna do that. Telerig the traitor. It, it happened in the battle event when um, He's about to get himself killed in a duel or something, and he's like, no, 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 spare me. Here, you take him on. He just pushes one of his soldiers in for him to get killed, and he ran away. <laughs> That's how he become known as the traitor. It's a 50% chance of that happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot all about this. Pick a date, patron deity. Which I had a hard time trying to think. Hey, plus one on diplomacy. Okay, for once, my mighty Morana, share your secrets with me and I shall keep them. Morana, the goddess of death and rebirth, is mighty but a vengeful mistress. When her brother and husband Yarolo cheated on her, she slew him. Without him, the world withered and froze, thus creating winter. Morana holds many secrets and spells which she bestows on her most faithful followers. I hope to prove myself a worthy follower. Which now I got a bit of learning skill. And with plus one diplomacy, very slow advancement on cult. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. But hey, more retinues, if we wish to. 900 is good enough. Come on, end your damn war already so we can get the out of here. 
and raid these two counties. And that too, even though it's tribal. But it's held by a Prince Archbishop, which he's holding a piece of territory that does not belong to you. May have belonged to you during the days of Justinian, but not now. Oh yeah, after beating him in a tributary war, peace treaties are very short. All the practice ranges being built. And that means more archers now. And of course, more troops means, well, every time we go to war, we're going to lose even more money. Which I've already described this situation before as being strong militarily, but weak economically. Well, we're not all that weak. Okay, start at 820. That year, fight one more war. It's down there, and... Yo, idiot! That's in Sully for the uh, smuggler's ring. What are the Byzantines up to, by the way? Holy War for Capua, that's in southern Italy, that's been held by the Saxons. The same Saxons that Vladislav has destroyed. Separated them into many smaller realms. Which we hope one day they would never get together again. Because they were a regional threat for a time being. And remember, when Branimir turns 12, we got to induct him in the Warrior Lodge just to continue this um, blood bloody, merciless heritage that is the Tezilovich dynasty. And him being merged in with a bloodline from another member of Shamans of Perun in the past. <laughs> so very, very soon, we will be at war again. Right, before we begin our war with uh, Imperials, uh, Rana, the Holy Warrior, has died of a natural death. But unfortunately, I was not able to inherit his sword that he collected from a Bulgar soldier. But there's something else interesting in mind. When I looked at the three known plots, one wants to kill that, that Polish spy master of Bosnia, which is not wise, um, but apparently somebody knows her. Uh, my rival still wants to kill me, but Cresimir the Grinner is the one that's back in the plot. I'll tell him to stop or else. <laughs> but he will stop back in that plot. That's prolonging my life. High Chief Vuk the Bellower is now target of the assassination plot by my niece, the Queen of Bohemia, and the Diviner of Bohemia. And back by a plot by Vuk's wife. What gives? Attempted murder. Dishonorable. Oh, apparently this is already ongoing. So, he's about to get assassinated, which I don't mind one bit. Because once he goes, he's going to be led by an even better ruler. <laughs> I mean, look. If my uh, boy Branimir did not live up to my expectations, then maybe Vladislav should be the one to <laughs> lead Bosnia. It would be known as Vladislav II. Why can't we have him in a warrior lodge? But of course, I have no control over that because, well, he is a member of the Champions of Perun, so it's possible he may or may not induct uh, his son into the uh, the warrior lodge, if even if they wanted to. But I can't ask him that because, um, again, Vuk. Uh, yeah, I cannot give him missions since I'm the leader of, of this society and book developer. Although I don't think he'll be around for long, so why should I be concerned about that? I should be concerned about this, but cannot declare war because cannot be allies in another war. The goddamn Panoinian War. Perun, damn this war. You know what? It kind of makes me want to 
come up there, send my retinue, and try to contribute a bit. Screw it. Let's go on an expedition. I'm saving my money. We're only sending our retinues, which costs prestige, not gold. It's just hard to feel proud when one has nothing to be proud of. He had it coming. Yep. We know who did it, but who can tell? Mm -hmm. What is that woman's name again? <laughs> who was the one that backed the plot? Oh, I forgot, but he had it coming. You're the new marshal. I can summon another uh, commander of from the Warrior Lodge, if I wanted it to. You know what? Let the revolt happen. We'll kill him after, you know, this whole thing is said and done. Who are we siding with again? Panonia? Right. Can I link with you? Alright. Chrisomir, wipe that grin off your face or go into war again. But it's a war that's been going on for nearly... For five years and ten months. A petty noble from Vidin has spent a week visiting Verbosna, constantly bragging about his wealth and his states back home, insulting his local peers and behaving like royalty. My uh, courtiers are quite sick of asking me to take action. I could write a formal complaint. Not to mention this place is prospering. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, dear Queen, I hope this person has not caused too much trouble. I will inform my people of your customs so that misunderstandings can be avoided when you visit your realm. Thank you for offering a chance to correct this behavior. Thank you. It's the capital of the county. What are we referring to? Actually, hold on. Break that off. I want to take them on myself. Ourselves. <laughs> These are retinues. And some of that uh, is actual army. Well, sure, we'll have a Red Cross disadvantage. But if we lose, then we lose. We have the best commanders on the job. And, and let's hope that uh, they don't have anything better. Because we'll see what the Bohemians have. They got no commanders on their front. But, uh, we're losing uh, the son of Mike. Not anymore. We have more cavalry and light infantry than they do. Where'd you bring? Sendavi. Ah, decent. We'll have you besiege this territory and put it into this um, blasted conflict and we'll get on with the other um, other affairs that are of a great interest in Bosnia. Okay, that one place has too much defense. Come over here. We're going to beat him again. One of my petty nobles now visiting a uh, Mizibor. Where's that at again? Sorbia. Not Serbia. Sorbia. His behavior's not acceptable. Good recording. I understand. I have to take action soon. You know what? False accusations. Last thing I want is a non aggression from people like you. He's gonna go to Praha. Oh, they just spawned. There we go. <laughs> I 
Yeah, about that. We don't have to send our big ol' army. It's for cost-saving reasons, and we're using our retinues. Especially that's mostly cavalry-based, along with light infantry. Smart move. Who's this your butt? Chancellor of Ohm and Commander of Ohm. He ain't that much. Burn him. Up the kill count a bit. Make it look like Lillian has actually killed some people. Instead of never killing one in the battle. Except that one down there in the Zen. You're winning in battles, but not the occupation. Chom. Where's Chom? Chom's over there. Okay, just um, see this place and then move to Chom. Oh, actually, they're going to Chom. They've already taken it over and war's over. Thank goodness. Head home. And I'll contemplate on fighting another tributary war for your pills. And, uh... <laughs> and then we'll... Make that a tributary. Then we'll raid. <laughs> Sometimes, you gotta get things done. I, speaking of getting things done, I just remembered. You wanted to kill me, huh? Not if I kill you first. You better accept my challenge. Oh, you do. Good. Let's fight. Um, my opponent seems to be getting tired. Her moves becoming slower. Strengthened by the cheers of the crowd, I sink my knife of the terrain to her chest. The woman groans and takes a while before my own heart starts pounding. Then she is still. Your death was the only logical outcome, sister. That takes care of the assassination plot. Now we can look to the... F <sighs> All right, we got a righteous imprisonment. It's Vladislav II of Rome. He is trying to kill Branimir Miroslavich Tazilovich, my heir. Although, it's like, uh, look, if Branimir were to die, you would be my second choice, but I don't want like person like you to try to kill my son. Murder is murder. It ain't right. And if I don't arrest you, then war it shall be. My retinues are here, so... Bring it on! <laughs> I prefer a straight fight than all this sneaking around. Oh really, an offer? Hmm. That's my niece, huh? <laughs> No, I have plans for you, and that's a uh, tributary war, but we got to deal with this little rebellion real quick. Okay, he's talking about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant at the belief that this would improve the military. All right, fine by me. That's my money you're talking about. I'll take him on in the field of battle. And after this war, then we'll hire through some lodge commanders from the warrior lodge, I should say. Uh, see if we can find some talented ones, since um, the old one has died. What the hell am I doing? I actually had a chance to meet them in the Spalathos, but... Uh, suddenly changed direction. That was a mistake. And no, we're not arranging marriage with any damn body. Where hell you think you're going? Everybody wants the salt mines of Sully. That's what's known in that region in uh, real life. It's the salt. Let's bring it on. 
If we manage to capture him, good. And once he goes to prison, we're gonna keep. Well, not only I'm gonna revoke his titles, but I'm gonna keep him under house arrest. I don't want to kill him because of his skill. He will be of some use to us in the future. All right, we got them both. Screw it. Salt the holding. We'll take acceptable losses. Off to prison with you. And uh, let me revoke your titles real quick. More power to me. Now you be a good boy this time. Because I won't be nice next time. Do me wrong and... Do me wrong and I will imprison you. That's speaking of prison. Whoa, dear. I forgot to worship the ancestors, but... Um, the problem is, who are we going to sacrifice? I wish there were other prisoners that were here, but... Uh, I wish for prosperity and growth for my realm, because, you know... It's the economy these days. I should point those in there. It shall be his wife. May the soul serve you well in the afterlife. Oh man. Vladislav, what have you done to this county? Well, we still have a good enough strength to take on Imperials. Right? Yeah. He's gained a bit more, which he hired some mercenaries. He's got a lot of money. And some of that money should go to Bosnia. So we'll make that a tributary state, but we'll be facing Panoinia, who uh, has quite a bit of strength. Again, he's not going to be bringing his vessels, it's just his domain troops, his retinue, and whatever's left from the event spawn, but they're all part of that same conflict against uh, Bulgaria. Oh man. Okay, you know what? We should do this instead. Let's raid. We're gonna need some money. Because going up against just about everybody that throws at us, and plus even with Serbia on our side, and I fear that it ain't strong enough. So, let's raid. Raid Spalathos. It's just me being paranoid about fighting long wars that would get us bankrupt. I guess we could take them all on, but we can't last long. And after that tributary war, I'll spend a great deal of this money that I've earned on markets. The economy, fools. That is a reference of EU4. The Holy Comet. Comet, Bad Omen, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I got. The best teams aren't at war. <laughs> get, 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 get out of here. Okay, that can wait. Let's just, uh, for now, groom our son. Make sure he does not get assassinated by whoever. My steward broke up came with some new ideas regarding trade and infrastructure. All of them seem very promising. He claims the ideas came from a flash of inspiration. I'm sure we have the ancestors to think. Put the plans in the books. All right. Up the church infrastructure. Just means more church tax. Do we even get money? Okay, we actually do get money. From the churches. And the, uh... <laughs> and this one city in Zadar. Bratislav the Holy. 
A fledgling. He needs confidence. Voice thought it should be an uh, easy match. No heroin, mind you. I'm in charge. Alright, thank you. Oh, Bogart, as soon as you came up with some great plans, but we did not know you were suffering from dysentery, which is what got you killed. Oh wow, this Bosnian commander's got great stewardship, but he should no longer, he shouldn't be commander for long. Settle the tribe. We forgot to turn that culture into Bosnian. And who should be our designated regent, for goodness sakes? I don't know about him. Ah, the mayor of Zip. Who's got the best diplomacy? That's a better question. Okay, her. Broken loot. Ah, Branimir, my greatest son. My first and only second son, still living. Well, she is depressed, which I'm a little concerned. Hopefully she doesn't kill herself because, you know, your bloodline. Look at your descendants. There are no other daughters, is there? There's that one. There's another son. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty of opportunities. And I'm gonna about to... Try to induct you in a warrior lodge, if you can. Alright, son. Time to get you into that warrior lodge. Also, I think we should get back to training. I mean, the Byzantines have walked out of this region. Just get the money. And then we'll find another tributary. Alright. <laughs> He'll contact Chief Ruslan right away. Who's here again? Ilmanian. Right. Huh. There, there are many legends about the great man whose blood I share. A, a, a peculiar story has been circulating in the court, lady. It focuses on an epic feat where Vladislav proved his strength of character. The more I hear, the more I wish to emulate him. While well, be more like my father. By becoming lustful. Where? Why would I want that? I'm old, damn it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he loved. He, he sure has a taste of women. Uh, I'll make my own fate. No. I can't be lustful. That's just, you know, it's too late. Oh, wow, you didn't get wounded. Because all the. My brothers and sisters, they've always get wounded. So you won without a scratch. There is great potential in you, Branimir. Knew I had it in you. So his years of training will begin. No matter what happens to him, he will be of a great value and even better. There's a revolt to increase council power. Well, Spalathos it is then. Just get raid those two counties, we get our money, and then we'll fight the tribute to over Imperials. Which, uh, we should, uh, <clears throat> which should no doubt be quite an easy one, because I did some, did some thinking. Not to mention, go hire some lodge commanders, warrior lodge commanders. You've always got to be precise at what you're thinking. Again, all that money we've earned will be spent for not only financing our future wars, but also uh, to uh, build markets. We're not going to spend our money to make new jewelry and weapon and armor. And not for stuff like this. No. Money is too precious now. Yeah, just raid these two guys, then we'll raid this one because that's where uh, they told me th this mission to loot that province. And maybe we ought to take down that castle one day. 
replace it with a tribal village. Sounds backward thinking, but what do you got to do? All right, get the money. And there'll be even more loot. At least I'll be happy to know whenever I pass on uh, when I play as Brandomir. He's already a member of the Warrior Lodge, although low ranking, but it's a start. And once he gets married, all of his children must come from her. No concubines. We're not going to use concubines for this next movie. Because I want to have a, we want to have children that has two bloodlines that they share. That was the master plan. Okay, next. Gotta be quick about it. Now the better question is, is there a main army out there somewhere? Not yet. Not in this region anyhow. It would make sense that they're just going to be fighting mainly over there. It's where the capital of the rebels are. Largely, this episode's been a game of patience. <laughs> patience to make a next move. Next to fight. See if I feel. Oh, man. I don't know why we didn't accomplish that goal. Also, no to betrothal. We're about to come get you. Oh, man. We destroyed the temple of Anorona. Raiders have been pretty ruthless. Just like we did to the uh, city of Split. Although, despite the county's name is Split, but there is no city called Split. We destroyed it. Okay, 300 gold should be enough to uh, finance our next campaign. <laughs> By campaign, we mean military campaign. Not an election. Although, the election is for Branamir. And the other guy doesn't say the otherwise because he says he does not trust the judgment of the ruler. I dislike. He is dull. Is he? Oh, no. Not again. But he's still got the high martial skill. I'll make him less dull when I play as him. And his other reason is an uh, incompetent fighter. We're working on it. And only a child. The only a child part, I understand. But the rest of that, oh, come on. Give that man a chance. Oh, he's going to grow up to be a man. That old subjugation war is ongoing. But now... It's time to pay tribute to Bosnia. They lost their alliance with Pannonia. Now it's only Croatia that we have to watch out for. And mind you, we can't establish a tributary state like the Byzantine did. Because you have to be an empire. Well, not necessarily. It's it's uh, majesty level greater or equal of four. Which we're far from it. So we just got to extort tribute. It's a rich, rich place. So... <laughs> We're going to need that. Won't join, but tell you who will. Serbia. And watch your back. Croatia's coming. If they can, since they're the ones that are fighting against Bulgaria. Branimir's training. I could not fail to notice how joining the champions of Peru seems to have roughed up my son. Training is going through, undoubtedly getting results, but it's turning my son, uh, turning my clean, handsome son to a coarse, foul mouthed fighter. He's brawny and uncouth. Brawny. Excellent. Get up there. Give me a 
matter. What do we have here? A brawny man. This would replace this man who isn't even anything. Okay, I know to replace. Now give me one more. See what we have in store. A strategist. We do need another strategist these days, but it would replace uh, him who is. Yeah, definite. Oh, yeah, I forgot about all these people. You are the exception. We may need you in the future. Maybe when Brandomir comes to him, he'll release you and he'll make you a commander or something. Pig headed harpy! What he calls me? Alright, do not be alarmed. Serbia is with us. Serbia will most likely follow us on the way down. Or go down there. Which, matter of fact, that would be the best option. Siege that area. We'll be along side by side. Alright, as soon as this war ends, uh, so is the episode. We just gotta beat their armies and take all of the holdings as much as we can until they uh, surrender, of course. Serbia will be right next to us. Once they take all those counties, and interestingly, they were trying to build a city here, which it'll be done in about a month. <laughs> which means, well, that's another holding we have to take. You're going to be one for learning this time. Get back to scheming. Want to know who's assassinating who and attempting within this realm. Okay, now they're getting together. Let them come. At least Croatia has not joined yet. Otherwise we would have problems on the home front. Don't know who that is. Probably somebody... I mean, the name's obviously Greek. Does that mean it's one of the Dalmatian children? Or oh, something? Hang on, just finish taking this holding, then we gotta chase that army down. Right, move up. Serbia, continue the siege. We'll do the bulk of the fighting. Man, these guys are fast. Alright, people on Zadar are calming down. It means less of a revolt risk. And then we have to worry about iconoclast revolts or something. Battle of Avlonis. I could have sworn I heard the enemy high chief Svetislav barking oars. But as I searched the mountains, uh, he is nowhere to be found. A fellow soldier finally informs me that he's been spotted, cowering in the far back of a fallen tree, and most disgracefully following his troops. He's of a Mislavich, a Greco Serbian. I'll do the commander myself. My opponent looks nervous, his arm a little ill fading. I briefly co contemplate uh, what I'll do this another day. Moments later, I snap out of it and let the fresh morning air sharpen my senses instead. The menacing man is on the ground groaning in pain. I'll show no mercy. Everything is just in the war. Fair game. That's all I say about it. And 
there is a mare. We're going to sacrifice him. Zealous opinions increase because there are some zealous people in our realm. So they will like me more. If you get done taking the city of Ellis, then move down there. Mm -hmm. Don't tag along with us. That don't know if we can handle that for the supply limit. So far, so good. His training continues. He can sacrifice a bit of stewardship. His soon-to-be wife's come to age, and she'll bring some stewardship along with it. But however, she is paranoid and shy, but kind, so she's all right. Uh, Kit Chivel. Now it's in this newly built city, which they won't resist much. Well, I guess Serbia can come along with us. I guess we can handle the, uh, the supply limit. All right, we're going to meet them in battle again. Ninety-seven percent. We'll be over very, very soon, then we can all go home. And then uh, we'll watch Brandomir grow up. <laughs> and. My time of passing will come uh, sooner than we uh, think. That's what I assume, but then again I'm brawny, so it's possible she could live up to her 60s. But hopefully not the 70s. I mean, good and gone. That's just, uh, you know, extraordinary. But don't forget all that money that we've looted from their holdings. And a good reason why to end the war soon. The disease is coming. The conversion of Grad Orthodox. Grant Nets is now Orthodox. Oh boy. Orthodoxy is spreading again. This Byzantine sphere of influence continues to grow. Hundred percent. And now they will pay tribute to us. Don't know how much. Wouldn't want to know. Let's just go home then. We'll um we'll wait for my passing as Bradamir grows up. I kind of quest the present. Cousin Dobromir. That is a box. Great box. Oh, Branamir had food poisoning. Which, that's no, no fun. But if he dies, then... <laughs> oh boy, I have to make a pretty interesting decision. I, I don't even know who my court physician is. But he's feeling better, so... Oh yes, the Russian. He's just doing his job. He treated my son well, did he not? Yes, he'll be better. Yeah, he'll definitely be better, and so is Bosnia. Guess he's going for learning as well. 
well, as I look around here, again, Serbia's tributary, and so is um, Iparos, and then uh, Croatia, which was the original target for a tributary war as well, but uh, they're still dealing with the Bulgars, and they're about to lose this war. You know, the sooner the better. I'll make them a tributary next. But that'll be for the next episode, in which... Uh, we will spend a great deal of our money, which now we have a bit more on the monthly balance now. Just fine. Yeah, the next episode, uh, we could make Croatia a tributary state to Bosnia. And then the raiding of the Dalmatian counties uh, continues. And we spent that great deal of money on markets to further increase our economy. No need to build up troop levels. It's just we need to make more money. And th and also Brandomir will soon come to age. And Bosnia's future is secure. So we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, so long for now.